So here we have a circle with a white stroke and we want to add some dashes to it. So first twirl down into your shape layer and select the stroke. Next in the stroke styler panel, simply check this box here next to dash line. Some boxes will appear for you to enter the values that you want. So let's type 50 in dash one and 25 in gap one. And as you can see, the dashes are updated live in the composition window. And this is exactly the same if you wanted to add or edit a taper in this tab or a wave in this tab. If any of your dashes, taper or wave properties have keyframes or expressions applied to them, then when you hover over the stroke styler panel, you'll see the familiar blue diamond or the red stopwatch indicating keyframes or expressions are applied. So here you can see on the dash one property, we have two keyframes here in the timeline. So if we were to move the playhead to somewhere in the middle, hover back over the stroke styler panel and change this value here, say to 150, you'll see that a keyframe is added at the current time. Stroke Styler also brings a familiar functionality from Illustrator into After Effects, and that is the ability to align dashes to the corners and ends of custom paths. So here we have a path that we've drawn in After Effects, and all we have to do is first select the path, and then go up to Stroke Styler and hit this button here. Stroke Styler then generates a brand new shape layer based on the path that we had selected and also applies an effect into the effect controls here which directly controls the dashes on the shape. So if we were to increase this to 80 and decrease the gap length to say 10 you can see how the changes are updated live in the composition window but the dashes stay fixed to the corners. If we then modify the shape you can see that the dashes stick to the corners as expected um, and it doesn't matter which uh, shape you draw they will uh, always update and stick to the corners. Oh. 